good morning good morning to you guys it is um, I don't know what day it is again September the 7th I think and I think it's Wednesday and uh, just got back from my walk with uh, with my hyper dog <laughs> oh Romeo he's laying right here I'll, I'll get him up here in the camera in a minute he'll he'll come out of his coma in a minute and uh, but anyway, I had a lot of interesting comments, and uh, come here, we'll, let's, he's coming out of the makeup room now. <laughs> there he is. This is, that's, that's Romeo after being here for seven days. That's proof that we can live together, okay? He's done really good. He really has. Well, give him a look, bud. <laughs> he is a nut. He, does, he runs in circles and jumps and does all kind of things. And I, he can walk on his hind legs. And I didn't train him to do it. I mean, I don't even know if it's good for him or not. But anyway, uh, I've had some comments related to uh, uh, mistakes that I make in my videos. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd point out that uh, those will continue. You know, I'll forget the day. And if I want to call my dog a dachshund or a uh, greyhound or a blue tig hound or whatever I choose to at that moment, then that's what he is in my mind for that one second. But no, I know I make mistakes. But it also brings to mind something that happened back in the mid-1970s. I... I went to work at a newspaper in Victoria, Texas as the chief financial officer. I was a CPA, and uh, it was a good position. It was. It was a high-paying position at that time. I, do, I knew absolutely nothing about new, newspapers, but I didn't tell them that. But, of course, accounting is accounting is accounting is accounting. The whole thing is about keeping costs down and budgeting and, you know, knowing where, you know, kind of, kind of being at the helm of the ship, financial ship anyway. And I got to go into the uh, morning meetings with the uh, executive editor, the publisher, and the uh, his son, and, uh, you know, hear what was going on. You know, I, I was in, on the, in top management. I was a secretary treasurer. I was on the board, board of directors. And so, anyway... <clears throat> Just to kind of give you an idea of my philosophy on making mistakes, we did back then. This was in the mid '70s. We they still uh, used, they still set type. Okay, I mean it was coal type, but uh, there were errors in the in the paper. It was a daily paper, and yeah, there were misspelling errors and different kinds of errors made. And sometimes a reporter would get the story. Can you believe it? Wrong. But, uh, and people would point that out. <clears throat> anyway, I guess the executive editor got a little tired of it. His name was Jim. He was a very sharp guy. And, of course, he was well-read. And, and uh, he wrote a editorial one time, and I, I thought it was pretty cute. He said, you know, the newspaper was a very modern enterprise, and the in the counties that we were in and uh, tried to provide something for every reader. They tried to find something of interest to satisfy at that time about 50,000 subscribers in 16 counties in South, South Texas. <clears throat> and he said he knew that there were some people that were always looking for mistakes and so they would intentionally put a few mistakes in each paper so that those people would be satisfied. And so I, I've adopted that in my videos, and I noticed some of you Sharpies out there have caught it, uh, that uh, I, I do make mistakes, and I try to make them obvious enough so that you can't really overlook them. You know what I mean? Like calling the dog a dachshund? Not bad, huh? Or getting the date wrong? Huh? Not bad. Or not knowing what time it is or day it is or caring? Not bad. But anyway, all that's out there is intentional. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, I will continue to provide those errors and mistakes for your benefit. I won't leave you out in the cold. 
uh, and for you new subscribers that uh, look for, you know, like to kind of pick on people, you found a home here, babe, because uh, I will uh, give you stuff that you can pick at till your picker is broke, okay? And, uh, but anyway, there's some other videos I'm going to do today, and, you know, that's always a question mark. I don't, I do videos whenever the hell I get ready. I don't care how many it is or how few it is or how long they are or how short they are. I have no rules. I am completely in charge of this channel and my life, and I do what the hell I want to do, and that's it. So, uh, be that as it may, uh, today is January the 5th, and I'm sitting here with my Doberman Pinscher and uh, in my red shirt. So, for those of you, uh, I think, I try to make them obvious because, you know, some of you guys might not, you might miss them, you know what I mean? But be that as it may, this is Rusty78609. This is Central Texas, USA. It's 8.32 a.m. Central Standard Time. It is, I think, September the 7th, 2016. So look forward to those little errors. I'm going to try to hide them. And I may come up with a deal where I give you a prize if you catch them, okay? Uh, your prize will be your comments will no, sh no longer show up on my channel. <laughs> That'll be your prize. So anyway, no, I don't mind you pointing out the mistakes. Uh, I, you know, in fact, it's okay. It doesn't bother me five cents. You know, in fact, but, you know, I go back and listen to them, and I hear the mistakes, but there are, the video's already out there. The only thing, I can't go in and edit it again because I don't have the equipment or to do it because I don't store the, vi the videos. Once the video is published on YouTube, I delete it from my camera, and it's gone. I have no control over it other than I can go to YouTube and change the name. Uh, I can change uh, uh, what they call tags, you know, where it might pop up. And that's it. That's it. That's it. They give you three choices. And if you wonder why the picture of me in, in the in the video thing, the, the picture you see is like this sometime or like this, it's because they, they give you three choices and, and, and uh, you have to pick one of those three choices. And if they're all three bad, well, you just pick best of the worst. Now, some people have a camera. Uh, or video equipment that allows them to completely edit, you know, and go back and correct, you know, gram grammatical errors and, you know, calling a dog a horse when it was really a chicken. And, uh, but I don't have that, and, and nor do I care to have it. I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on a camera. Hell, I haven't made, I haven't made a hundred dollars yet. <laughs> so, but be that as it may, the videos will come in ones and twos or fives and sixes each day or whatever you know you just never know how i'm going what i'm going to do today might be a busy day tomorrow might be a no day and uh but i do enjoy them and i, I do enjoy getting the comments because a lot of the comments are you know positive feedback people you know giving me ideas on videos and you know and pointing out things that would that, that uh, would make a good video etc etc and i appreciate the hell out of that but and, and you know doing this is uh is interesting. I mean, you, you think that, you know, believe it or not, you know, there's, there's people watching this video from all over the world, and even though they're going, what the hell, did I punch the wrong button? You know, who is this guy? Where, what the hell? Is, where, where'd he come from? You know, and, uh, you know, I understand that. And also, I mentioned yesterday, I'll mention it again, a question was asked if watching the ads that pop up before the video starts, if watching those increases my revenue, and the answer is yes, it does, but not just directly what it does is it it has an influence on the ad rate and then that ad rate somehow is transposed or trans trans something transgendered into uh, uh, money okay and I, I'm not gonna try to figure it out I mean I could and know exactly how I get paid but I ain't got paid yet so what difference does it make and I'm not planning on being a videographer and have a great channel with a sound room you know this is I, I full-time rv this is an rv this, i've been doing it for 23 years i go camping in my prius and uh, now i've got a pet doberman pincher <laughs> actually it's a miniature poodle and he's three weeks old exactly tomorrow he was born on july the 8th 2016 his name is Romeo 
and we're getting to know each other and thank goodness he doesn't have any fleas no ticks he sleeps all well almost all night last night he got up one night up one time and i took him outside see there's another one you guys might catch that one anyway uh so it you know having a i'm going to talk about you know what a pet means later on today because i've thought about it last night and there are some significant benefits for people like me but anyway thumbs up carpe diem adios Bye bye. And stay tuned for further developments.